Had Butch given it, had Butch given any indication there was a problem? I, I don't have a radio, so I really don't know. I just try and stay out of the way as much as possible when I'm not in the car. Thanks, Bruno. And a battle for the lead on the back straight as Alan McNish was just for a second held up by the 44 flying lizard and now he's having to defend as Montani goes very aggressively to the outside but he'll not get around McNish there. Now Alan needs to hold on here, feeding the power nice and gently off the corner. Montani cuts it tighter and pulls out straight away to the right hand side of the circuit. They cross the stripe. 0.03 in of a second between them, and Montani's going round the outside into turn one, he's got it done! An amazing manoeuvre, but McNish is right in his wheel tracks and he's not going to let the Frenchman get away from him. Montani will be feeling the heat now through two and three. Can he keep the Peugeot ahead? That was a very, very brave manoeuvre by Montani, forceful but brave, and in fairness to McNish, he gave the Frenchman some racing room. I'm not sure that I thought we could see two prototypes turning in side by side, not going through the corner side by side, and Montani's caught on the outside of the hairpin from the Lizard, and McNish takes the opportunity, dives across the kerb and goes back into the lead of the race. Five hours and nine minutes in, and we're battling like it's a 20-lap sprint at Oldham Park. Marvellous stuff. Here comes Montani to the outside again, but he's on the wrong side for the next right-hander. This is quality.